fear. It's irrational. It's a reaction to something that hasn't happened yet and might not happen at all. But it can debilitate us. It can silence us. It can cause you to do things that you never thought you'd do. I am so sorry that I lied to you about being a spy. I just thought that you wanted to be with somebody who was interesting. And then pay the consequences. I'm sorry. I can't be with you anymore. The trick is to push fear aside because what you're afraid is going to happen most likely never will. <laughs> what do you want from me? Well, are you gonna kill me? Huh? I swear. I just already had stuff on the lizard. What is it? I swear with me, with me, with me, with me. What are you doing? I'm gonna kill you. What? I mean, what? No, I'm just kidding. We're just here to hang out. <laughs> I just took sleepy pills though, and I am really sleepy, and I am about to be sleepy. Please, we have super fun plans. That sounds super fun. But, hey, we made these plans just for you, Brookie. Really? For just for me? <laughs> oh, um. Okay. Yay. We are taking you to a gay bar to get you laid. Absolutely not. What? Why? Because I hate rejection. Every time I go to the gay bars, there's all these beautiful hot guys, and I think I shouldn't even bother with them, so then I go for the moderate to ugly guys, and they still don't like me. So I would rather eat cute, live, cuddly kittens than go to a gay bar. That's very extreme, Brookie. You don't get it. I was just fired, which means that I have nothing to do but plan fun things for my friends. He took me to a secret concert for Ultimate Hipsters Only. They had a breathalyzer at the door for Starbucks, and if you didn't pass, they'd look at you like this. It's a good thing we drank nothing but organic coffee straight from a micro loan farm in Costa Rica the other day. Ross took me to a petting zoo. And now, we are going to take you on a big getting laid adventure. Ross, I don't get laid at bars. I get laid by weird accidents. Like the time that straight guy thought I was a lesbian and that was his weird fetish. Shut up! Oh god. Listen, if I don't stay busy and keep moving like a shark, I'm gonna lose my mind. <laughs> Alright, we are taking you to a gay bar and we are giving you awesome sex. No. And if you don't do it, I will go insane. Is that what you want? No! Yes, I miss it! No! God. Oh, good. oh god. This <sighs> and then tomorrow, we're gonna go on a nice lunchtime yogurt date. What's up, yo? Don't ask. Karen, why are you dressed like a dude? I'm not gonna get laid in a gay bar looking like a girl, duh. Let's go to gay bar! Woo! -hoo -hoo! Hey, Vaughn? Yeah. Do you think you can stay behind? Oh, I wanna go to the gay bar! Sure. Catch you guys later. Hey, don't worry. We'll make sure that Brooke has an extra drink for you, huh? Right, Brookie? <laughs> From this point on, I don't know any of you. Hey, finish that coffee. You gotta fight that ambient. Guys, I think I'm seeing things. You know what I see. How do you hit the dark boards? What are you gonna say? I think I'll say, hey, if at any point you don't want to talk to me anymore because you're not interested, feel free to walk away, but I just want to say, hey, dude. Ah! Hey, snap out of it! Don't you ruin this night for me! Stop it, it's nice! Okay, Brooke, I have a you get one more. Stop it, that, stop it! So what do you want to talk about? I don't know what there is to talk about if you won't even explain to me why you don't want to keep our baby. I don't know how to explain it. 
or try me. As someone with a long history of long-term relationships, which all eventually ended in failure, yes, the point is that I got in there and I got it started. My trick, just to act like you don't care. Come on, oh. try it. Come on. Hi. You guys are social suit ninjas. All right, I said act like you don't care. Don't act like an asshole. Come on, don't get laid for God's sake. Do this for me. Do this for me. Hey, dude. What's up? Are you, are you not ready? I can barely afford to pay my rent, Vaughn. I'm 31 years old and I have no financial stability. I mean, no stability of any kind in my life. How am I supposed to? Take care of a child. I'll help you. Not trying to hurt you by saying this, but you're a bartender. Yeah, I know that. All right, so what do you do? I, um, I work for a magazine too. Sports update, you ever heard of it? Yeah, of course. Nope. Not a clue. Awesome, you're into sports. Yeah. No. What's your sport of choice? Uh, probably basketball, um, baseball, baseball, for sure. You into the Dodgers? I have season passes, dude. Lies, all lies. What's a baseball, hey? Shut up. Me too, we should go sometime. Yeah, that'd be hella sick. Hella sick. Why did I just say that? God, I'm so sorry. About what? For... I haven't even told you my name. Hey, I'm Brooke. Ken. What's up? Hey, uh, just give me a second. I'm gonna take a lead. Urination. I'm gonna urinate. In memento. I can't just let it go, friend. When I was gonna become a dad, I promised myself that I would never abandon this child, that I'd be the best dad in the world, and I would never give up on it. If we have this child, Vaughn, we're not going to give it a good life. That's a given. No questions, no doubt. Don't do that to your child. And I'm not giving it up for adoption. Why not? You were adopted. I am not giving it up for adoption. Well, me neither. Good. Settle then. Wait, no, 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 no. It's not settled. This isn't all about you. It is my body, if you haven't noticed. Yeah, I get it. I fucking get it's your body, Francesca. But it's also my fucking baby in there. And don't use this feminine bullshit to dictate what happens with my rights. And you definitely don't get to decide when you get to kill our baby. What did you just say? What did you say? I'm sorry, I didn't mean it to come out like that. Look, we just need to calm down. I'm trying so hard not to be angry at you. Maybe we just need some time to think it through. What is it to think through, Vaughn? I didn't want the baby, then I thought it over, and I still don't want it. You're so fucking selfish. You wanted to be a cop. Did you ever do that? Oh, then you wanted to be a chef. Did you ever do that? I am ten years behind where I'm supposed to be, Vaughn. And you, you're a fucking loser. There, said it. Yeah, I know I'm a loser! Tell me something I don't know! But what are you so afraid of? Huh? Is it because you lived in an orphanage for the first nine years of your life? Is it because you didn't know anything about family until you were nine? Is it because you think you're going to be a terrible mother? I was going to say, if you feel that way, you shouldn't. You take care of all of us, all your friends. There's no way in hell you'd be a bad mother. This golden locks has a hard time picking this all that do. She's holding out for a warm loop. Hey. Dude, you just left Mr. Hottie hanging. 
Come on, dude. You got pull through, Matsumoto. I know, I know, I know. Get we'll on there it. in a second. In a second, I'll go. Just give me a second. Seconds up. I know. I am, um, and I still don't know what I'm doing. Brooke, that guy out there is totally into you. Because I lied to him. I lied to him. I lied to him about everything about who I am. I told him that I am obsessed with baseball. I told him that I listen to Metallica. And I told him that I used to fuck girls before I was gay. The truth of the matter is, is I am a gold star gay. And Metallica hurts my inner kitten. Hmm. I, why don't you just tell him who you actually are? Oh my god, I know. It's so simple. So simple. It's simple. It just, uh... I know, I know it sounds ridiculous and pathetic, mostly because it's true, but I can't not have this fear that I'm not good enough. Well, you know, it would feel really awful to feel like that forever. So, my ex-husband used to require a cigarette in order to, you know, blow off steam. When we got married, I demanded that he quit. One, because, ugh. And two, because, you know, I thought I made him look like a 17-year-old who was trying to look tough to compensate for a lack of maturation during puberty. So, as a compromise, whenever he would get stressed out, I would take out my imaginary cigarettes. And we would smoke together. Sounds ridiculous, but it totally works. Hey, I'll check. Hey, uh, this is um. What was your name again? Hey, man, I'm Todd. <laughs> ah, now I gotta go cruise the alley. Bye. Hey, you. That was a long piss. You could have just told me you were taking a number two. I am a very accepting guy. I was not doing. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. I was contemplating. Damn it. I was contemplating about why I fibbed to you a little bit. Why I seriously fibbed to you. <laughs> um, about the kind of person that I am. I, I knew you were fibbing. Yeah, we're really awful at this. Not bad. Then why were you talking to me? It was cute. Ah. Okay, well, I'm gonna pretend that I didn't hear you just say that my lying was cute because that is counterintuitive and confuses me. But if you would still like to hang out sometime, I think that's me asking you if you wanna hang out sometime. I'm not interested. Ah, sorry. Sorry. Sorry, I thought you were just flirting. Never mind. Um, Sorry, what? Can I ask why? Never mind, sorry, that's an awful question to ask somebody. I, that's really desperate. See me. Because you fibbed. Oh. You're a nice guy, just being nice back to you. You. My friends just got here though, so. So it was really great lying to you. Yeah. But, you know my hunch about you that was right. You are a nice guy. Well, thank you. It's gotta be just right or nothing. But oh no, nothing will quite do. She's had a little bit of this, little bit of that now. You, you. Oh. 
I told you I wasn't going to let you go home alone tonight. Thank you. You guys produce so much body heat. It's the warmth of love. Hey, Brooke. And everyone else, hello. Hello, Puddle. Mm -hmm. I'm in. Guys, it's in so here. hot. Come on. Oh, really? Uh, oh. Hey, were you and Vaughn fighting tonight? Yeah. Oh. Damn it. I have no cash. I'll pay you in the morning. Were you guys betting? I on? did not place bets on you. Because I love you. Brooke, weren't you supposed to be having sex with hey, me? Hey, 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 hey. Never mind. Guys, are you ever afraid that you're never going to find somebody? Never mind, you all have somebody. <laughs> oh my god. Fear. Whatever.